everyone, my name is Ashley LeBlanc. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am a country music singer-songwriter. I've been singing since I could talk. I've been playing guitar for, oh my gosh, since I was in grade four. So I don't know how old I was then. Um, but I am so excited to be presenting to you my final capstone project. For those who don't know, I have been in university for the past four years and I'm going into my final semester now on the day that I'm filming this. Um, it's just a few days before and I'm so excited to talk about the final project that I'm working on to encapsulate the past four years of my education. Rewriting my love of songwriting has been an idea in my mind for quite a while. For those who have been following my career for the past, I don't know, six years, you're well aware that two years ago, I put out my album called Glitter and I was completely ecstatic and I'm still absolutely so proud of that music and it means so much to me. But basically right after that, I kind of disappeared off the face of the earth and um, that's because I faced burnout and I was getting very frustrated with the independent musician industry and the challenges that came with that. So I just kind of stopped everything. I stopped performing. I stopped songwriting. I stopped doing absolutely anything involved with my musical business because I was so frustrated and I wanted to find an escape from it. So that's why I kind of came up with this project. So don't get me wrong. My music, music in general, everything to do about music means the absolute world to me and I wouldn't be where I am today without it. I've already started working on this project a bit as I'm filming this so I can say just how much happier I am that it's back in my life. I'm very excited to share this process with you as we go through it. Rewriting my love of songwriting is a challenge that I made for myself. So for the next 10 weeks, you're going to be watching videos that I'm going to post once a week and it's going to document my process of songwriting and how I write a song by myself. And you know, that's one thing that I love about being creative is that there's so many different approaches and different ways that you can write a song or do any kind of artsy thing and I think that's so amazing. So to be able to document Maybe like me figuring it out on the piano one day and then me playing a guitar the other day or I don't know, I could film my clips on my phone. You know, like there's so many ways that we come across inspiration and I'm so excited to express that to you as a viewer. The main reason why I wanted to do this was to break the habit of not doing it. Before I wrote my first one, which you'll see next week, I hadn't written a song in like a year and a half. I was very frustrated with that and I wanted to break out of it. I started like little lyrics in my notes app on my phone but I could never get past that. Forcing myself to sit down and do it has just completely changed my life and I'm so excited for you to see it. The reasoning behind creating this series is not only to force myself to rediscover my love of something, it's also so that I can showcase the struggles that one goes through as an independent musician. That's not talked about, you know? I feel like we don't talk about how difficult it is to, not even like based on music, but just running a business in general and how challenging that is to do by yourself and how to start something from absolutely nothing and kind of discuss maybe some tips and tricks that I've learned throughout my career, maybe discuss some personal stories that I've been through, uh, experiences, you know, I just want to be able to connect to other songwriters and creatives and people who make things and showcase to them that, hey, it's okay to have these struggles and that we're all kind of in this together. We just don't talk about it enough and that's, that's not okay. I also would love, absolutely love to showcase how one creates, you know, for the average person who might not be involved in music, 
They might not have any idea how one sits and writes a song, or at least my process could be completely different from yours and maybe we learn something new from that. So from somebody who's not a musician but has like a fascination with music, I thought it might be cool for them to sit and watch this and to just kind of get an idea on how people create and how I come up with ideas for songs. <laughs> It'll be really cool and I'm excited to share this with you. So just a heads up before we get going with this series of videos, I do want to say that this will be very personal. We will probably see points where I get extremely frustrated. <laughs> this is kind of really intense, but sometimes when I sit and I write songs, I cry and I sit and I cry and I figure out what I want to say through like sitting at the piano and like playing through a chord progression and just bawling my eyes out to write some lyrics. So we might see stuff like that. You know, I don't know how much my life's gonna change in these next 10 weeks, but I feel like it's gonna be pretty fascinating to be able to just look at a time capsule and see, because usually I write songs about what's going on in my life. I think that's gonna be really fascinating to watch. There's also gonna be clips from my notes app, from my voice memos app. Maybe if I'm really stuck and I can't write a song one week, I'm gonna pull from those resources that I have and make something from something that's already kind of started, as you'll see in this first week that I'm gonna post. So these videos will be coming out every Friday and I'm very excited to be able to debut this. And I, I just can't believe that my education is almost over. On a personal note, I am going to Teachers College next. Hopefully I get accepted, I'll let you guys no, <laughs> when I find out, but I'm gonna be a teacher and I'm gonna get to work with kids and I'm so, so excited to be able to share my love of creating and making music with kids and to inspire them and help them find a way to express themselves without being embarrassed. I'm just so beyond excited. You know, as a student, I really respect and s respected and still do respect those people who helped me find my love of music and they completely changed my life. So I wanna be able to do that for kids. So these past four years, I've been studying as a community music student at Wilfrid Laurier University. And as my final project, I'm gonna show you how I write some songs and we're gonna talk about my experiences in the music industry and hopefully since this is a weekly series and most of this is not pre-recorded um, I'm gonna get to connect with a bunch of other musicians and give you guys resources and talk to you we're gonna learn so much about ourselves along the way and I just can't believe I'm almost done university. It really changes the way that you hold yourself. And education changes the way that you think about yourself. And it's completely transformed my life for the better. I couldn't wish anything more for anybody than to be able to find something that you're passionate about and learn. And you know, as we grow, we never know absolutely everything. And that's what's so magic about music. And I'm just so excited and I'm, really do hope you guys join me on this journey and yeah i'll see you next friday